Kodak Black is one of the most well-known rappers in the game right now. With almost 20 million streams this month on Spotify alone, Kodak Black is not to be taken lightly. But even with all of his successes, Kodak Black just can't seem to stay out of trouble. The South Florida rapper has been arrested about eight times since 2015, with charges ranging from basic cannabis possession to sexual battery. Here is an exclusive inside look at the criminal history of Kodak Black. Kodak Black's first major arrest was around the time his hit song Skirt was starting to gain traction worldwide. On October 14th, 2015, Kodak was detained by police for marijuana possession and for driving with a suspended license. But it doesn't stop there. Once the police ran Kodak's real name, Dusan Octave, or Bill K. Capri, through the system, they realized that Kodak Black had open warrants for a robbery, battery, and kidnapping. From there, Kodak Black was taken into custody and booked on five total charges. The rapper was held without bond for a few days, but was eventually given a set bond amount and was released moments later. The second arrest happened just over two months later, on December 25th, 2015. On that Christmas day, Kodak Black was driving around when he got pulled over by St. Lucie police. During the stop, police found marijuana and drug paraphernalia on Kodak and charged him with possession of 20 grams or less of marijuana and possession of drug paraphernalia. Kodak was released on bond once again shortly after he was booked. This next incident wasn't necessarily an arrest at the time, but led to an arrest later on in the year, and that is the incident that happened at the Comfort Suites Hotel in South Carolina. Reports say that after his performance at the Treasure City Nightclub on February 6, 2016, Kodak allegedly committed sexual misconduct on a teenager in a Comfort Suites hotel. The victim alleged that Kodak tore off her clothes ripped and bitter. No charges were filed at the time, but an investigation took place since the allegation seemed credible enough to the authorities. Kodak, of course, left the state before they could question him. Kodak's next arrest took place on April 21st, 2016 in Hallandale Beach, Florida. According to police, Kodak's vehicle was allegedly involved in some type of drug deal. The cops proceeded to pull over Kodak, but instead of cooperating, Kodak tried to evade the police. After a little game of cat and mouse, Kodak was finally detained by police where they ended up finding marijuana on him and a loaded Glock 23 40 caliber pistol that he tried to ditch in a dumpster nearby. When it was all said and done, Kodak Black was booked on three charges, which included possession of a weapon by a convicted felon, possession of marijuana, and fleeing the police. Kodak later posted a bond of $5,100. Now, not even a month later, Kodak Black was arrested yet again for having an open warrant for his 2015 charges that included armed robbery and false imprisonment. You're probably thinking by now that Kodak will just bond his way out of this like he did last time, and the time before that and the time before that. But that was not the case. The judge demanded that Kodak Black remain in jail. He was facing a maximum of 55 years according to numerous reports, but come on, we all know the finesse kid will find a way out of this one. <laughs> and he did, almost. After spending the whole entire summer of 2016 in jail, the Project Baby pled no contest to the charges and was sentenced to one year of house arrest and five years probation, which, May sound rough to the average person, but this is a major W when you're facing 55 years in prison. Kodak was scheduled to have a court appearance again the next day where he would be officially released, but of course, there was a catch. The next day in court, his homecoming was put to a halt after the judge became aware of two warrants. One of those warrants was from his 2015 arrest in St. Lucie County, Florida, and the other one was for a sexual misconduct case in South Carolina. The Florence County Police originally had a warrant for Kodak Black's arrest for the sexual misconduct charge, but since Kodak wasn't in South Carolina anymore, all they could do was put a warrant out and hope to catch him the next time he was in the area. They were not about to pay for his extradition. But a few months after the original sexual misconduct charges were filed, they upgraded his charges to sexual battery, a more serious charge that carries a maximum of 30 years in jail. This made the situation much more serious, and with him already in police custody, the Florence County Police made it clear that they wanted Kodak extradited to South Carolina when Florida was done with him. 
After that false hope of freedom, Kodak remained in jail for a month before he was sentenced to 120 days in prison after pleading no contest to one charge of possession of marijuana and one charge of possession of marijuana paraphernalia from his 2015 St. Lucie County traffic stop. This also resulted in Kodak having his driver's license suspended for the year, and he also had to pay a $298 court fine. Kodak served just over two months of his 120-day sentence when he was released from the St. Lucie County Jail and transferred over to the custody of Florence County Police to face his battery charges. In court, Kodak denied the charges and was held on a $100,000 bond. He spent three days in Florence County Jail before he posted bond and was released back on house arrest in Florida. This was Kodak's first taste of freedom in eight months. That freedom didn't last too long because just two months later, Kodak Black was arrested during a court hearing after the judge determined that Kodak violated the terms of his house arrest. Kodak apparently violated house arrest by allegedly punching a strip club employee multiple times in Miami after an argument on February 4th, 2017. Kodak remained in jail and on April 26, 2017, the finesse kid was found guilty of five counts of violating house arrest and was officially sentenced to 364 days in prison on May 4th, 2017. The judge did cut him some slack though, by giving Kodak the possibility of having 180 days taken off of his sentence if he completed a life skills course. Kodak completed the course and was released from jail on June 5th, 2017, after serving just 97 days of his 364 day sentence. Upon his release, everyone assumed Kodak Black was on the straight and narrow because Kodak didn't have any legal trouble for months which was impressive for Kodak since it seemed like he was only able to obtain three months of freedom before getting locked up again. But all good things come to an end because after seven months of freedom, Kodak was arrested once again on January 18th, 2018 on several charges, including grand theft of a firearm, two charges of possession of a weapon or ammo by a Florida delinquent adult felon, possession of cannabis over 20 grams, child neglect without great bodily harm, and two counts of parole violation. This all came into play after the authorities were tipped off from an Instagram Live video where Kodak Black appeared to be surrounded by guns and marijuana, all in the presence of his son. Kodak's lawyer filed several motions to get the charges pressed against Kodak dismissed, claiming that the guns and marijuana shown in the video were just props for creative use. Just over a month later, prosecutors dropped three of the charges against Kodak due to insufficient evidence. The three charges dropped were possession of a weapon or ammo by a delinquent adult felon, grand theft of a firearm, and child neglect. Despite having those charges dropped, Kodak still faced four other charges, including marijuana possession, possession of ammunition, and two other charges for violating his probation. Kodak Black was still being held without bail in Broward County Jail, and at his court hearing a few days later, he pled not guilty to those charges. A little under a month later, Kodak was sentenced to one year in prison after being found guilty for the marijuana and ammunition possession charges. Once again, the judge cut him some slack by letting the 90 days he already served count towards his sentence and it was possible that Kodak could be released by October 2018 with good behavior. He was facing a total of 12 years during that sentencing, so that was another major W for Kodak. After serving only seven months of his one-year sentence, Kodak Black was released from jail on August 18th, 2018, two months ahead of his expected release in October. Kodak immediately got into the studio following his release and recorded a whole album's worth of music. He dropped Dying to Live on December 14th, 2018, and the album did extremely well. Kodak was on top of his game, and everyone was certain he was on the right path. And he was until April of 2019. You see, on April 18th, 2019, Kodak and his sniper gang crew were arrested at the United States and Canada border on several charges, which included criminal possession of a weapon and unlawful possession of marijuana. Kodak's excuse for this arrest was that his GPS led him in the wrong direction, which led him to crossing the border. Regardless of this excuse, the police booked him into jail and he was later released on a $40,000 bond. Now, not even a month later, Kodak Black was arrested once again while on his way to perform at the Rolling Loud Music Festival in Miami. This arrest was a lot different than his other arrests because this arrest involved the FBI, ATF, and the US Marshals. According to the authorities, Kodak allegedly lied on paperwork to obtain a firearm on two separate occasions. 
Specifically, Kodak checked no in a box that asked if the person is under indictment for a felony, which Kodak is in fact under indictment for the incident in South Carolina. Kodak's lawyer came to his defense and said that those papers use terms that not everyone can understand and that Kodak misinterpreted the question. As of now, Kodak is still in jail and faces a maximum of 10 years in prison for those charges if found guilty. Overall, Kodak Black has a pretty long criminal history with multiple arrests in the past four years. While Kodak tends to get off the hook pretty easily, he is still facing a total of 40 years in prison currently. 30 of those years are coming from the South Carolina incident, which he is scheduled to have a trial for this fall, and the other 10 years are coming from his recent arrest at Rolling Loud. Many people in the hip hop community want to see Kodak Black win due to how talented he is, but he just can't seem to stay out of trouble. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and hit the subscribe button down below. We're making videos like this every week, so hit the notification bell as well so you never miss an upload. Also, feel free to comment below on who you want to see a criminal history video on next. Hope you all have a great day. I'm out.